hello students good day and welcome back to this channel in today's video we are going to solve wasi 2021 core mathematics paper 2 question number three now for question three we have three a and then question three b so first of all we are going to focus on question three a in the diagram is a circle mnpr with center o the reflex angle o is 204 degrees Angle NMO is 52 degrees. Find the value of M. So we have a circle MNPR with a center O. The reflex angle is 204 degrees and the angle NMO is 52 degrees. We are going to find the value of M. So this happens to be a problem on circle theorems and most often than not we have questions on this particular topic repeating year after year. Now let's move on to find the value of m. So to find the value of m, the first thing we are going to do is to find the angle MOP. We are going to find the angle MOP, that is this angle. Now we know that the angle at a point is 360 degrees. So if we know the reflex angle, then basically we are going to subtract 204 from 360 to get the angle MOP. So we say that angle at a point is equal to 360 degrees. So the angle MOP plus 204 degrees is equal to 360 degrees. So angle MOP is equal to 360 minus 204 degrees. So that the angle MOP is equal to 156, 156 degrees. So this is the angle MOP. We have the angle MOP to be 156 degrees. So moving forward, let's draw a chord from point M on the circumference of the circle to the point P on the circumference of the circle. Now from one of the properties of circle theorems, we said that the angle subtended by a chord at the center of the circle is twice the angle subtended at the circumference of the circle. So the angle subtended by a chord at the center of the circle is twice the angle subtended at the circumference of the circle. Now the angle subtended by this chord MP at the center of the circle is the angle MOP which is 156 degrees so we have this angle to be 156 degrees now this angle is twice the angle MNP so from the property we said that the angle MOP is two times the angle MNP So the angle subtended by a chord at the center of the circle is twice the angle subtended at the circumference of the circle. So let's move on to find the angle MNP. So we have angle MOP to be 156. So 156 equals 2 times the angle MNP. So you are going to divide through by 2. And then we have the angle MNP to be 78 degrees. So this angle is 78 degrees. So now let's consider this triangle, the triangle MOP. Let's consider this triangle. Now this is an isosceles triangle, which means that the base angles are the same. So the angle 
OPM is the same as the angle OMP. The base angles are the same. So let this angle be Y and then this angle also be Y. Now since we know the value of the angle MOP, we can find the values of Y. So we say that the triangle MOP is an isosceles triangle. So triangle MOP is an isosceles triangle so that Y plus Y plus the angle MOP should be equal to 180 degrees because the interior angles of a triangle adds up to 180 degrees. So this becomes 2Y plus 156 equals 180. We transposed 156 to the right hand side. We have 2Y equals 180 minus 156. Now 180 minus 156 is 24. So 2y equals 24, we divide through by 2 and then we have y to be 12 degrees. So the value of y is 12 degrees. So it means that if this angle is 12 degrees, then this angle is also 12 degrees. So now how do we find the value of m? Now we know this angle 78, we know this angle 52 plus 12, and then we know this angle which is 12. However, we don't know the value of M, and that is what we are looking for. So if you are going to consider this triangle, then we can find the value of M. We are going to add up all these angles, and then they are going to be equal to 180, because the interior angles of a triangle adds up to 180 degrees. from triangle M N P so angle M N P plus angle N M O plus Y plus Y plus M is equal to 180 degrees now the angle MNP is 78, the angle NMO is 52. So 78 plus 52, Y is 12, so 12 plus 12 plus M equals 180 degrees. So 78 plus 52 plus 12 plus 12 is equal to 154. So 154 plus M equals 180. So we had 154 plus M equals 180. So M is equal to 180 minus 154 so that M is 26 degrees therefore the value of m the value of m is 26 degrees now let's move on to question number 3b so for question 3b a ladder of length 6.5 meters leans against a vertical wall if the top of the ladder is 3.6 meters from the foot of the wall, calculate correct to two decimal places the distance from the wall to the foot of the ladder. So let's draw the diagram. A ladder of length 6.5 meters leans against a vertical wall. So this is the vertical wall. And then we have a ladder of 6.5 meters leaning against the vertical wall. So assuming this is our ladder, 6.5 meters.
Now we are told that if the top of the ladder is 3.6 meters from the foot of the wall, this is the top of the ladder and this is the foot of the wall. So if the top of the ladder is 3.6 meters from the foot of the wall, which means that the distance from this point through to this point is 3.6 meters. The top of the ladder to the foot of the wall is 3.6 meters. Then we are going to calculate correct to two decimal places the distance from the wall to the foot of the ladder. So the distance from the wall to the foot of the ladder. So this is the ladder. And this is the vertical wall. So let's label this diagram. So this is A, B, and then C. Now let the distance from B to C be X. And the angle between AB and then BC is 90 degrees. So now if we want to calculate the distance from the wall to the foot of the ladder, we can use the Pythagoras theorem. So from Pythagoras theorem, the length AC square should be equal to the square of AB plus the square of BC. The length AC is 6.5 meters. So 6.5 square equals AB is 3.6. So 3.6 square plus BC is X. So we have X square. Now we are going to transpose 3.6 square to the left hand side. So we have 6.5 square minus 3.6 square equals x square so x square is equal to 6.5 square is 42.25 and then 3.6 square is 12.96 so x square equals 42.25 minus 12.96 is 29.29 so we are going to take the square root of both sides of the equation. Square cancel square root. We have x equals the square root of 29.29 is 5.4120. Now because we are supposed to leave our answer in two decimal places, then the answer is equal to 5.41 in two decimal places so this is the distance from the wall to the foot of the ladder so the distance from the wall to the foot of the ladder is 5.41 meters.